In this video, I'm gonna cover five things I wish I knew before I started building my personal brand online. My goal with this video is to showcase some of the major mistakes I made and hopefully you don't make those mistakes too. So let's jump into it. The first thing, and it's gonna be super cliche, your why has to be bigger than making money. When I started online, it was like 2009-ish. I couldn't, I couldn't find a job. So I was like, all right, well, I'm just gonna freelance. This is what I'm gonna do, right? I just wanna make money. Here's the problem with that. What's gonna happen is the universe, God, however you wanna describe it, is this really funny character. It likes to test you. It's gonna put some clients that are really gonna push up against some of your values and you're gonna have to make a decision whether or not to follow through on that. And what's really hard is when you're like, rent is due in three days, my fridge is empty, this person just cut my price down by 50%. Oh man, I'm gonna have to take this. And you can't take it. That's the hard part. You gotta say no to that. And I know how hard it is because like cash flow is so important in growing your business. But at the end of the day, your why has to be more than just making money. And when that happens, it's gonna give you the motivation and the willpower and the strength to say no, claim your worth, go out out there and get a new client who actually pays you not only what you're asking for, but more. Because I have found 100% of the time, the clients that are fickle on price, who are trying to cut me down nickel and dime are the worst clients, but because they don't do the things you tell them to do. They don't execute, they blame you, and then it just, mm. Number two, you have to solve the needs of a specific audience. And here is a, kind of the secret. There's about four needs that are ever solved by pretty much everything in the whole world. And I know I'm gonna get some people angry and tell me why I'm wrong. Leave it in the comments, fight me, I don't care. This is the internet. We like to fight over inconsequential things. Those four things is time. The whole reason Uber is successful is because you got five or six extra minutes to get ready and you can order your Uber and it can show up to exactly where you are located. The second one, money. The world revolves around it. Can you make me more money? Yes? Great. Here's my money. Double it. Triple it. Make me more money. You can't make me more money? Get out of here. The third, happiness. This creature that's laying down here sleeping, Athena, this little one, cost me money, cost me time. But the amount of money and time that I invest in this beautiful creature rewards me in more happiness than you could possibly know. Hands down, best investment in my life. The reason why Axe Body Spray tries to sell sex all day is because they're selling you this idea, you're gonna be happy. If you get laid, you're gonna be happy. Not true, temporarily maybe. And the last thing, security. Why do we buy security cameras? Because at the end of the day, we wanna know what's going on when something hits the fan. Why do we buy insurance? Security. Why do we get up every morning fight really hard to make our mark in the world and, and build something. We wanna create security for our loved ones. It's important. Those are basically the four things. Come fight me if you find more, I love it. Number three, every personal brand is a business. Starting out as a freelancer, you're like, oh, you know, you take whatever work you can, you're doing whatever service you can, yes, but you're also a brand. You actually have to start building yourself to actually remove yourself from it because of the only way that you're not gonna create the worst boss of your life, i.e. yourself, is by creating systems and structures to scale yourself and create a process that delivers results consistently that also speeds up your execution and gives you time and energy to actually enjoy life. You have to have a system to generate awareness, getting people to know who you are, creating content that has a wide reach. You have to have that consideration stage. Hey, why am I better than the competition, right? What is your value proposition? And last, conversion. What is the process to get people on the phone, closing sales, right? In every single one of my email marketing, if you're not on my email list, you need to be. I have at the very bottom, here's the various ways you can work with me. Sign up and let's have a conversation. If you aren't on my email list, I will give you 30 days of personal branding. Sign up below, link in the description. <sighs> Number four, people will pay hundreds of dollars for knowledge, but they will pay thousands of dollars for transformation. I wish I knew this sooner. You're getting so much free knowledge on YouTube and Google, right? It's free. All the information in the world is out there. What people actually want is wisdom, is results, is 
transformation. I want to know how to go from here, wherever here is, to that goal that seems completely infeasible, completely impossible. You know, if I'm 500 pounds, I want to know how to get down to like 200 pounds and that doesn't seem possible. But if you can transform me into this newer, better version of myself, I will give you all the money in the world. And so will your clients and they will pay thousands for it. Now, here's the thing. The best piece of content you can ever make, I guarantee this, is testimonials from past clients. And the last one, this one's a little bit of a gray area. It's around the idea of doing free work. When you start out, people want you to do things for exposure. Doing free work is important at certain times. If you're gonna do something for free, don't do something for free for one person. Do something for free forever. A lot of my audience here is public speakers. There's lots of opportunity to speak for free. 100% do it. You will learn so much from it. But make sure that while you're speaking for free, you're getting photos and videos of yourself up on stage that you can use in your marketing. Make sure you're building your email list of those people who are showing up. You know, make sure there's enough people showing up that it's worthwhile. Don't do a, a public speaking for like three people. Make sure there's 10, 20, 50. Make sure you have a business that you can sell to them at the end. Hey, you know, if you like this presentation, this is a few ways you can work with me. I'll be up at the side over here. Let's have a conversation. A simple soft sales like that does so much. So make sure that if you're going to do free work, that you're gonna get something out of it. Nothing in life is truly free. Otherwise, you're never gonna claim your worth. Claim your worth. Okay, there was five things that I wish I knew when I started out building my personal brand. If there's more that you think or you've learned in your experience, drop it in the comments because in no way, shape or form am I the only one who's gone through this. Uh, if you like this video, please, please, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps me in the algorithm as I'm building this thing up. Uh, and when this goes out, I think I just hit a thousand subscribers. So woohoo. And if you're watching this years down the line, you get to see how much I've grown. Great. Nevertheless, my name is Austin Juliano. I appreciate each and every one of you. See you guys in the next video. Peace.